I'm Jim Fennings from QuickStage. In this segment, we're going to show you how to install a 4x8 portable stage deck. And actually, the concept is the same for any of our stage decks, whether it be a 4x4, a 4x8, a 4x6. And our decks that are 4x6 and 4x8 all use six legs. 4x4s and smaller ones will use four legs. So in this case, we have a 4x8. We've already installed uh, uh, five of the six legs. I'm just going to go ahead and, and slide this other one in. You see we have six leg sockets here. Right? In this particular case, we're using 32-inch legs. So just slide it in there. Make sure it's flush all the way tight. You'll hear it hit. Tighten this thumb screw really tight here. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll set this on its feet and slide it into place. So we've, got, we've gone ahead and uh, put these two techs side by side here. And every 4x8 deck comes with six coffin locks built into the frame. You'll have three male locks, and how you can differentiate the male lock from the female lock is that the male lock will have the hole on the top with a spot to put the T-handle. It's the only tool required to install our staging. Then you'll have three female locks, and here you can see here there's no hole on the top of the stage, and that'll automatically be where the female lock is, okay, because there's no, no tool required for the female lock. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead, slide this in like this, next to that, put the tool in place, and all that is is a 5 16 inch Allen wrench. Go ahead and locks it up tight. Time to go back and tighten that one in, and that's it. And you would just keep going down the line. These coffin locks are located two foot in from every corner on a 4x8, so on a four foot in it's going to be dead center at two feet, coming down the eight foot side. It'll be two foot in, two foot in from there. Automatically, when you slide these up, they'll just automatically match up, okay? The secret is you want to make sure that you have your decks level when you're putting them together. If for some reason you're on an unlevel floor, something slanted or whatever, just screw the foot out. That's a, that's a two inch adjustable screw foot on there. And that's all you need to do, just eyeball it, make sure it's flush, and it'll lock up perfectly. So we're often asked, can you do combinations, you know, end to end, side to side. And with four by eights, as long as you're using a four and an eight foot side, you can lock them side to side, side to end, and end to end. So if you wanted to make this a four by 16, you would just lock the four foot ends. If you wanted to take this and make this an eight by 12, you could leave this deck here and you could turn two decks this way and just making sure that if you have a hole in the top where the mail lock is, make sure you're, where you're uh, matching it up it doesn't have a hole there because that'll be the female side. Just lock them up and the way you go. These locks have like 2,500 pounds of uh, pencil locking strength, so they're very strong and they won't come apart once you have them together. In this case, we're using a, uh, some 32 inch legs. And once we get to 32, inch, 32 inches high, you're going to want to use some leg clamps. And the purpose of leg clamps, as you can see right here, all it is is just metal strap with a bolt going through. In this case, this is a two-leg leg clamp. We would just go down here, put that in place like that, put that on, and we like to put them about six to eight inches to a foot, whatever the application calls for, and that just makes that leg that much more solid, okay? You would go all the way around the deck and the perimeter, and where there's four decks that come together, you'll have four legs. We make a four-leg clamp. That'll have a spacer in the middle. that will actually go here. What that does is when you tighten it up, it keeps the legs from compressing to each other. That's it. That's all, it's all that's required to assemble these decks. It's so simple. We're often asked if, uh, if, for example, they want to buy an eight by seven stage and how we would do that. And all we would do would be a four by eight deck and a three by eight deck, and we would lock them together on the eight foot side. An example would be you cannot lock a three foot end into a four foot end because the locks won't match up and you have a foot difference. You couldn't center it because it's not going to work. It's because of one being three, one being four, but you would just lock it on the eight foot side. Those locks would match up perfectly. So that would be a good example. We make many combinations of staging on everywhere from, we have extrusions from one foot, one foot through eight foot, and then we also have an 18 inch. So we can make many combinations. We can make an example, an 18 inch by seven foot stage deck. Uh, the only issues you would have is how you would lock them up into other decks because of what lock locations are. So if you can, try to use 4x8 stage decks because it will save you the most amount of money, gives you the most square footage for your dollar, and we'll always try to quote with 4x8 decks. And our 4x8 stage decks only weigh 107 pounds, they use six legs, still rated at 175 pounds per square foot. So you're getting a very strong stage, a very lightweight stage to handle, perfect for portable churches, schools, corporate events, 
Uh, we've just sold some to a circus as an example. We've got many uh, movie producers that use them, shows, theatrical situations. So they work in any application. We make an indoor, outdoor stage, carpet, weather resistant. This is our most popular. Our most uh, popular would be this quad ripple uh, polyvinyl. It's a little bit of a non-skid, yet it doesn't uh, doesn't allow you not to dance on it and anything like that. It doesn't, doesn't uh, show the abuse. So it's a really good example of a good stage surface. One of the uh, most popular accessories that we offer is stage skirting. Just makes your stage look really, uh, really finished. And as you can see, all our decks come standard with a strip of Velcro in the frame already. That's indented, so you can put it on the, uh, you can store it on its edge. And all you gotta do, our skirting comes with a loop side on it. Just go ahead and here, we'll just wrap this around to show you here like this. That's it and your skirting is installed. That's, that's, that's it, that's all you need to do to, to uh, start to assemble one of our uh, portable stage decks. Uh, again, if you just have two decks like we have here, or if you had 40 decks, it's just a matter of locking them up. Let's say this was gonna be two rows of uh, four across that way. Uh, all you would do is uh, just make a combination going this way, or you could turn them that way. It doesn't really matter. They're all gonna lock together, very simple. And we also have detailed written instructions on our website, you just go to instructions, download them, they're in print, and they go step by step and give you just uh, real easy directions on how to set these together. And again, if you ever have questions, just pick up the phone and give us a call.